Hey, Collider fans, John Roca, the producer of Collider Heroes here. Well, the much-anticipated Avengers 4 trailer dropped this morning, and the world is losing their freaking mind. And so am I. We've been waiting to see what happened to our favorite hero since the snap heard round the galaxy. And with this trailer, we got some answers. Tony is sending messages to Pepper. Captain America has shaved his beard. Thor is still missing his eye. Banner is still having a Hulk complex. And Black Widow is still being a badass. And holy Barton is back, and he's not Hawkeye, he's Ronan, and he's like killing people. The title of the film is Avengers Endgame, and Endgame usually refers to the final stage of a match when you make huge sacrifices to win. Might we be getting that here? Well, as Samuel L. Jackson might say, let's break this sucker down and find out. The first shot of the trailer is Tony Stark on what looks to be Nebula's ship with what's left of his Iron Man helmet. He turns it on to record a message for Pepper Potts, or Miss Potts as he calls her. He's exhausted, dehydrated, and looks near the end. We see a shot of the ship he is in from below. It looks like the ship that the Guardians used to fly to Titan. Tony utters a very ominous line, part of the journey is the end. Is he foreshadowing his own death with that line? We're not sure how long after the snap it has been, but we do know that food and water ran out four days ago. And and that he has one day of oxygen left, so recording a goodbye to Pepper makes sense. Remember that he was talking to Pepper when he got on Ebony Maw's ship in Infinity War and their conversation was cut off. Also, since Iron Man started this whole shebang with Pepper in 2008, it makes sense that they should be the ones to start a trailer that could signal the death of Iron Man. When I drift off, I will dream about you, it's always you. Will Pepper get this message before Tony dies? Will she rescue Tony? Wait, Outlaw, did you say Rescue? Why, yes, I did. Well, Rescue is the name of Pepper Potts' character in the comics when she dons her own Iron Man armor. We've already seen pictures up here online of Gwyneth in her rescue outfit, so will she get this message and save Tony in time? Or will a certain space warrior whose trailer we recently saw intercept this message and save Tony? I'm talking about Captain Marvel, of course. Well, Marvel then messes with our hearts some more by having the logo turn to dust and blow away right in front of us. Oh, those guys. Next shot is of Thanos' armor propped up almost like a scarecrow. Okay, Infinity Gauntlet fans, this is your scream moment. You remember that that image appeared in the comic book source material after Thanos had lost the gauntlet and he quote unquote retired from being a villain to live a quiet life as a farmer. He used his armor as a scarecrow to ward off predators. Maybe the Avengers in this case. In the comics, he even becomes a bit of a hero after this moment. So is this a possible reference for the keen observer that Thanos will not be the main villain in the movie? Will we finally see the mistress of death, Hela, become the villain here, or maybe someone else? Remember, Thanos has nothing to fight against now. He won. Some have speculated also that this armor is on Wakanda and that this is a reminder to the Wakandans of their murdered king and it is intended to rally them in a battle against Thanos should they see him again. Again, we shall see. Hey, I wouldn't mind seeing M'Baku again, that's for sure. We also see Thanos walking with the gauntlet still fused to his hand and running his fingers over the crops in a blatant gladiator reference. And remember that Russell Crowe's Maximus only had visions of that moment happening after he died and was entering Valhalla. Could Thanos be in some version of a spirit world? We did see him talk to a young Gamora at the end of Infinity War who asked if it was all worth it. So he could be in the universe of the Soul Stone. Anything is possible at this point. Black Widow explains Thanos' victory next, and it's accompanied by a tear from a freshly shaven Steve Rogers who is back as Captain America, people. Now, he must be crying seeing the deaths of the other Avengers on the screens by a concerned Bruce Banner, Scott Lang, Shuri, and Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Oh man, I don't feel so good. Shuri! Steve Rogers then talks about the loss of friends and family as we see a very empty Avengers compound, along with an emotional Thor still missing his eye, grieving Loki's death, and his failure to kill Thanos. Nebula is also shown touching what is most likely Gamora's coat. And just as we see these images, the moment of the trailer happens for me. Ronan. Clint Barton is back here, people. That's right, Hawkeye is here. Or rather, Ronan is here. Comic book lovers know that Hawkeye becomes Ronan in the comics after he is killed during the House of M storyline. He is brought back to life, but it leaves him psychologically damaged and he becomes Ronan. In Avengers Endgame, it might be that Thanos wiped out Barton's wife and kids with his snap, and that's what makes Barton become Ronan. Remember, he was under house arrest as well, so maybe he becomes Ronan to evade the authorities and his wife and kids are just fine. A theory I have is that if the rumors are true about time traveling, time vortexes, and quantum realms in this movie, maybe this is an alternate dimension that Black Widow finds herself in where she discovers that Clint Barton never became Hawkeye and has always been Ronin instead. 
Also, for those who are not up on their history of feudal Japan, Ronin were masterless samurai who at times have been depicted as bringers of justice in numerous samurai movies. And as we've seen in these movies many times, he wipes the blood from his sword with his arm. This is awesome. Now, next we go to Steve Rogers, Captain America, who flips open his old compass with a picture of Peggy Carter still firmly planted in there. Does this mean that he is using her as motivation to remind himself of what he was supposed to stand for? Or is this a moment where he's thinking he might be seeing her again real soon in the afterlife? Again, it's called Endgame, people. Sacrifices must be made. Rogers responds to Black Widow saying that their plan is going to work by telling her that he knows it is because he doesn't know what he'll do if it doesn't. This foreshadows the sacrifice he's prepared to make to make their plan work. The lengths he knows that he will need to go to. Oh, man. Next, we see the Avengers logo coming together like pieces of a shattered planet, which could mean the reconstruction of a new Avengers team from the pieces of the old one. Or maybe this indicates the destruction of someone's planet, maybe Thanos's, especially when you notice the purple hue in the title and that A symbol. The trailer ends with everyone's favorite man-child, Paul Rudd Scott Lang, showing up to buzz on the door of the Avengers compound. We now know that Scott escaped the quantum realm after the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's a much needed moment of levity in a very serious trailer. Also, he leaves us wondering how he escaped after Hank Pym, Janet Van Dyne, and Hope Van Dyne were vaporized by Thanos. My theory is that Lawrence Fishburne's Bill Foster and Hannah John Kamen's ghost survived the snap and somehow got Scott out of the quantum realm. Remember that he was in there to get quantum healing particles for Ghost. Or maybe he just did it himself like he did it in the first Ant-Man. Time will tell. Either way, it shows us that he will play an integral part in this movie, as will the quantum healing particles, tardigrade fields, and definitely the time vortexes that were referenced in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Okay, phew, well... I'm John Roca, and that's our Avengers Endgame trailer breakdown. Thanks for watching and listening to it. Let us know what you thought of the trailer, what you thought of this breakdown, and if I missed anything, in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media, and to subscribe to our channel for the galaxy full of content we will have on Avengers Endgame here at Collider. Thanks, and remember that part of the journey is always the end.